OK, we've got some strong to severe thunderstorms on the way late this afternoon and tonight. The main concern or the main threat continues to be strong winds. Some of those might be strong enough that they're damaging winds along with some heavy downpours. Let's take a look. The latest guidance here has pushed all of our viewing area up a little bit, so we got upgraded to a slightly higher risk that some of those thunderstorms coming through could become severe. I want to be clear. Everyone has a chance of seeing some thunderstorms today, but the yellow is that medium medium risk and then the red is a higher risk that some of those thunderstorms will have some very, very strong winds again continuing to be the main concern. Isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out. In fact, that is becoming a little bit more elevated as well. That threat. So we've been saying it, you know, all day yesterday, all morning this morning. It's just a good day to stay weather aware. Here's the culprit, by the way, this area of low pressure back here. You could see it's already pretty electrical. It's a line of showers and some pretty significant thunderstorms, but as it increases, in intensity as it heads our way. We're going to see a little bit more fuel as it kind of moves from west to east, a little bit more sunshine, a little bit more heat. So by the time it gets to us, it will not look like that. It will be a little bit stronger. So if you're heading out and about right around lunchtime, an isolated shower or two is possible, but it's going to be after three or four o'clock that we begin to see that leading edge begin to move into our viewing area as we head into five, six, seven, eight, possibly nine o'clock tonight. You could see that's going to be the main event there, that cold front pushing through. We'll be watching a couple isolated cells out ahead of that main line and then cells within that line. All of those have the chance of again becoming severe. So at the very minimum, what we're looking at heading into late this afternoon and tonight is going to be some torrential downpours. Maybe a half an inch to an inch of rain will be the average. Some will likely get more than that, and we are looking at strong gusty winds 35 40 miles an hour. That's the bare minimum on top of that. If any of these become severe, then obviously we could see some of those winds stronger and damage damaging at times. As we go throughout uh, the evening, we'll see that slowly break apart and dissipate, and then it's all about the cold air and the rainfall in higher elevations changing over to flurries and light snow. So that is going to be a big change there. In fact, we've got a winter storm warning in effect for parts of the mountains. Elevations above 3,500 feet could see more than six inches of snow. We've also got some torrential rainfall, half an inch to an inch on average, but again, some of us could see some more. Now, in higher elevations, six inches or more, especially along that North Carolina, Tennessee line. We'll see anything from flurries to some light snowfall accumulations across Asheville, Cullowee, and into Franklin uh, Friday into early Saturday. All of the attention today is toward that stormy weather heading our way late this afternoon and tonight. Highs will be in the mid 60s. We will cool down heading into Friday. In fact, freezing Saturday and Sunday morning across the upstate in the mountains with more rainfall heading our way early next week.